Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will be replicating the live equity market data of Nifty 50 shares in a Google scene, which will be updated in almost real time. Our final spreadsheet would look something like this, where we will have information like opening high, low, previous close, last traded price, 52 week high, low volume, market cap, PYE, etc. of Nifty 50 shares, or it can be any shares as well, which is most of these informations and some additional information we have covered, like market cap, PYE, EPS, to give you a better decision making in your trading or investment journey. To build this sheet from a scratch, you would be needing a Google Finance function, conditional formatting to do the color coding, and a sparkline to build this chart and basic know how of Google Sheet. Even if you are a beginner to a Google Sheet, please don't worry because I would be explaining all these things from very basic and will be giving you the link of relevant videos and resources in the video description. So first here is Coal India. Let's see how we would be able to pull last traded price, high, low, previous closing price of this. So let's go to this sheet and here our code of this share is Coal India. So to get last traded price of Coal India, you have to type equal to Google Finance to use the Google Finance function and the first parameter is the ticker. So ticker means you have to give the name of the exchange from where you want to pull the data and then colon and then code of that particular share. Then second parameter is the attribute and through this second parameter you would be able to pull out most of this information like open, high, low, close, volume, etc. Let's see the official documentation about Google Finance function for this. So here you can see uh, the second parameter which is attribute it can be any of these data points like price, opening price, high, low, volume, market cap, trade time, data delay, PYE, EPS, etc. We will be using these attributes to populate most of these data. I have made a separate video on this as well uh, and I am giving you the link in the video description. Uh, so you can check it out from there as well. Let's see how we can get last traded price of Coal India. So I am typing equal to Google Finance and here I have to give the code, the first parameter which is ticker. So code of the exchange then colon and then Coal India. And since th these are text, I have to pass it in uh, double quotes. And then the second parameter would be the attribute. So attribute here, I want to pull data for uh, price. So I will write price. So it has given that uh, for uh, last trading price of Coal India has been today 448. If I uh, write low over here, so it will give us the lowest price, lowest trading price for today. And like that, we can uh, change uh, the attributes. So if I give you the volume, then this much volume has been traded. So we will be using uh, this function uh, to pull out all this information. So the very first thing I want to pull the code of all the Nifty 50 share. For that, I would be going to the website and I would be downloading this data. And once this is downloaded, then I would be copying all these codes and then pasting this over here. So I have downloaded it. Let me copy all these codes. So control C and I am pasting it over here. So I have pasted all the codes and since we have to give all the codes along with the NSE, so I can either use a concat function, which is the value one and value two. It uh, adds the strings. So here the first string is NSE and second string is this. Or here we can also do a simple and. So for that and this. So this has given me the code. I am just uh, dragging it uh, down. So now we have all the code available for this. Now I am writing formula for opening price equal to Google Finance. And I can reference this with the cell as well. So the here my ticker is this. And second attribute is opening price. So for opening price, I have to give it price open. What I am also doing is since I would be dragging it, I would be locking it with the help of a dollar sign. So this has given us opening price for Coal India. Similarly, I can write the formula for highest price as well. So here, this is highest price. Uh, I am locking it. And for highest price, I have to give the attribute as high. Now I can just drag it down. So we have the opening price for all of the stocks. Similarly, now we have a highest price for all of the stocks. To get low or previous closing, last traded price, etc. What I have done is uh, I have listed down the attributes at the top so I can write all these formulas very quickly. I have demonstrated you the first two be the hard coded one. 
So this would be B4. I am locking this. And here for low, the attribute is this. And here I would be dragging it. So I am locking to row number two. Similarly, for previous close, the attribute I need to pass is close yesterday. And for last traded price, it is price. For change, this is change. For a percentage change, this is change PCT volume, volume high 52, low 52. So I am just dragging it towards right. And then uh, I would be dragging it towards down. So now we have all these data populated. Now for past 30 days data here, we would be using the Google Finance function for historical cases. So what I need to do is the first parameter is the ticker and second parameter would be the price. And here you can see the third parameter is the start date. So a start date would be today. And I want to pull it for past 30 days. So what I am doing is giving it today minus 30. So it has given us an information like this. But now what I will do, I will put it under a spark line. Uh, so it creates a miniature chart within a cell. So it has created a miniature chart for us. So it has created a past 30 days data for us. And for market cap, uh, I would be writing the same formula over here only the attribute uh, has been changed to uh, market cap similarly for PYE and EPS shares and trade time so again I am uh, dragging it towards right and then I am dragging it towards bottom okay. well uh, now we have the basic uh, data format ready let's see how we can do the conditional formatting uh, over here if you're liking our content till time and it is adding value to you, then please do consider us subscribing because this means a lot to us. So I am just showing you conditional formatting for let's say change or change percentage. So for change, wherever uh, the values is uh, positive, uh, means the price has increased from yesterday, we would be marking it in green. And uh, for negative, uh, we would be marking it in the red. So now for conditional formatting, uh, I am selecting uh, this range and I'm going to format then conditional formatting it has taken the range to apply and here I am writing a formula greater than or equal to zero then here we have marked as a red okay so that is one condition so all the sales where the change value is positive it is marked as green uh, fortunately this is arranged in a descending order so all the greener ones are at the top and then uh, we will uh, write this uh, same for here so add another rule when the value is uh, less than zero then make it red so all the negatives one has been marked into red so this is how uh, you can build the color coding as well and you can do advanced things on the conditional formatting to have a better visual appearance uh, i have made a separate video on conditional formatting that i have put in the video description you can check it out from here so this is all about this video uh, I am also making a separate playlist for uses of Google Sheet and Google Finance function uh, for share market participants. So you can check out this playlist and this video specifically for Google Finance function. So see you guys there. Thank you. Bye.